about to try one more thing on this car, man. But that is all real. Man, that boy sound real good. Thing I tried before I pulled this motor out. For y'all who don't know, I'm moving. Can't take this car with me. I want to. I will if I have to, but it won't be soon. Uh, pop my trunk. I mean, not pop the trunk, but open this door. So, read up on a lot of electrical stuff. I'm moving stuff from the house here in the garage, but read up on some electrical. A bunch of T taps. About to put it in my new stock pal. Some A and L fuse line holders, relays, and the speaker wire that I stole from J Rock. It's been in my mailbox for like two weeks, and just forgot to grab it because it wasn't the part with the key. But whatever. Anyway, so I'm about to put this 12 volt relay on the fuel system. So what I was telling you, I don't know if I said it, but I think I told y'all, I probably didn't. The fuel pump made a different sound every time the car cut off. So I was thinking maybe it's not getting enough power because I got it hooked up straight to the ignition switch, no relay. So I don't know what's the draw on, on the fuel pumps, the Holly or the one that's in there. So I just said, hey, I'm gonna uh, put a relay on it. That way I know it's getting all that it needs. So. This should be a quick job, man. So I plan on just putting that on, letting it run for a minute. It is warm now. Just let it warm up all the way and then go for some test rides. All right, this bad boy came pre-wired already. So all I have to do is connect it. All right, so the way I'm gonna do it is 12 volt switch, positive, brown, and then uh, field pump wire. So when the uh, switch turn on, the initial switch, boom, this get power close the gap between these two which sends power straight down so this will be a 12 volt constant but it'll have whatever amps that it needs so right now on the ignition, on the ignition switch you can be getting 5 10 amps and the pump can say it needs 30 amps this is a 30 40 amp relay so so we'll switch ground but these have to be at least 12 gauge so boom boom close the circuit boom come straight down to the 30 which was going to be the fuel pump wire. So literally all I really have to do is take the fuel pump wire that's at where, where the fuel pump is connected to now. Connect that here, positive negative, and connect the fuel wire here. So simple enough. Um, I'm just going to connect it there. So that my 30 is at the bottom. This blue is my 30. So I can cut this black. I never really use the center relay pieces so I can just cut this off uh, so I got positive negative travel switch and then fuel pump so I'm about to do that real quick and then cut y'all back on all right man it ain't all that hot but it's hot that's why I'm sweating so I'm being I actually got this done a little while ago but uh I didn't tie anything down down yet but I just hooked it up for test test purposes all right I don't hit it Relay clicking. There you go. So that's what you want to hear. Let's see if I touch this, the fuel punch makes some noise. Yep. So I'm putting some electrical tape on it, let it run for a bit, then I'm going to take it for a spin around the corner. So hopefully, this is it. Sure it's gonna shake. 
Hopefully it don't fall. We got 200 in three degrees temp. Got that exhaust leak y'all can hear. I remember last time I hit the gas and cut off. Nah, last time I did they cut off. I'm so embarrassed, bro. I can't believe this whole time that was the issue. Like, all right, man, I just fixed it, bro. So this voice should run good, no problem. Don't worry about the dang gauges. I already told y'all they already break like that, but that's crazy. So what I initially did was I was looking for 12 volts while cranking, and the wire that I just hooked it up to in the first beginning it wasn't working it wasn't working right but like like I say I don't really know what happened but I didn't hook it up to that so when I hooked it up to the accessory I hooked up all my 12 volts to accessories because that's what they are they are accessories when you turn the key it cuts out and then it wasn't starting the motor wasn't starting because the pcm the way the the msd box wasn't getting power so as y'all just seen i must have hooked it up to the turn signal which when you turn the key it had power still but i didn't check to see if it, i just hooked it up to something that was working so now i just hooked it up to the straight ignition and everything's working fine man oh, i'm so oh. all this time all this time, bro, I could have been riding. So now we actually drive. So let me let me go see. I'm about to get a ride reaction. Crazy, that was the issue. I'm about to get y'all the rabbit issue. 